During Trump's oh, presidential great, campaign announcement, he urged his supporters to vote for Georgia's Republican candidate, Herschel Walker. Uh, we're going to listen to what he said. Um, we're going to listen to some things that Herschel Walker said recently, and then I'll come back to you for your thoughts. Despite the outcome in the Senate, we cannot lose hope. And we must all work very hard for a gentleman and a great person named Herschel Walker, a fabulous human being who loves our country and will be a great United States Senator. Herschel Walker, get out and vote for Herschel, and he deserves it. He was an incredible athlete. He'll be an even better senator. Get out and vote for Herschel Walker. Oh, you ever watch a stupid movie late at night, hoping it's going to get better, don't get better, but you keep watching it anyway? <laughs> the other night, the other night I was watching this movie, I was watching this movie called Fright Night, Sweet Night, or something like tonight, but it was about vampires. I don't know if you know vampires are two people, are they not? But I'm going to tell you something that I found out. A werewolf can kill a vampire, did you know that? I never knew that, so I didn't want to be a vampire anymore, I want to be a werewolf. But then anyway, as I'm watching this movie, and then you tell you how stupid it is, because it's one in the morning. So I'm watching my TV, uh, these kids watching their TV, a uh, vampire kill on their TV. So you know it's kind of stupid, but I'm still watching though. As I'm watching this show, what was funny, these kids had a vampire in their attic at their house. So they were watching their TV, now I'm watching my TV, they're watching their TV, and they see the vampire killer on their TV. So they win this contest to bring this actor, now y'all gotta stay with me, bring this actor who's a vampire killer from their TV to get rid of this real life vampire in their ad. So as this actor comes to their home, he got all the right stuff. He got all the right stuff because you know, you gotta have a steak, you gotta have a thing to, to kill him in the heart. And he got a necklace of garlic, so that worked. I don't know what it does, but it worked. You gotta have a cause, because it burned, I know that worked. And then all of a sudden, this is what was so funny about it. As they're walking through the house, this, 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 this guy got the holy water. He's blessing the house, this actor. Now he's all on faith. He's blessing the house with this holy water. They walked upstairs in this vampire looking real good in this black suit. Whoa, that sounds like Senator Warnock, doesn't it? Looking all good in this black suit. Floated from the ceiling. He floated from the ceiling looking good and cool. And I'm thinking, whoa, they better get out of that house. If somebody float from your ceiling, get out of that house. That's, that's not your house. But as he floated from the ceiling, the kids jumped behind that hero. As they jumped behind that hero, the guy jumped in front of him with this holy work, threw it on the vampire forehead. He covered his eye. And he took his hand away. He started laughing. And he said, that don't work. He took the cross and put it on the vampire forehead. And the vampire didn't even do anything. He said, that don't work. And that's the way it is in our life. It doesn't even work unless you got faith. It is time for us to have faith. We gotta have faith in our fellow brother. We gotta have faith in this country. We gotta have faith in this in the elected officials. And right now, that's the reason I'm here. Because God has brought his warrior, and I'm that warrior that y'all been looking for for a long time. And I can promise you, as my offensive lineman told me, Herschel, follow me. I take you to the promised land. And I'm going to tell y'all right now, you vote for me, I'm going to help us all get to the promised land. God bless you guys. Thank you guys. So, much. God bless so uh, Pastor Wright, uh, with, without comment, because I, I wouldn't know what to say about that, um, do you believe the ends justify the means? <laughs> First of all, that was a minute and a half of my life I can't get back. Um, and, and I saw no relevance to running for Senate in that. Um, uh, as far as ends justifying the means, no, because you have a goal to get to, but in the Bible, which is what I look to, it also says indecency and order. Um, and, and, and unfortunately, you find indecency and out of order on all sides. Um, so if there's some more specific questions about that you want to ask me, but no, that is not what I would look for in selecting a candidate to represent me or my community or my issues or concerns. So does that mean that you support uh, Reverend Senator Warnock? It means I don't support the other one. Mm -hmm. And I don't live in Georgia, so it's really irrelevant. Well, no, I mean, it's not irrelevant, right? Because we have people watching right now who, who are watching and, and participating with us as we have this conversation who are capable of I would of prefer if there was money. a third better choice. They are, they are supporting with their funds. They can support by phone banking for either candidate. They can support by going to the state and getting out and knocking doors. Uh, there are lots of ways as members of a party or just as citizens 
Uh, even, even youth can support a candidate, whether you get to vote or not. So that's what I'm asking you. I mean, there are only two people running, uh, and one of, one of them's a runner, one of them's a walker. Yes, I'm um, just a shout out, just a random shout out to Pastor Brian. Um, but, but in the middle of it, I'm asking which one you support. I know that you are a Republican, but you obviously have issues with the one that we just heard from. So is, is, the, is there a, a, a option that, that I'm race. not aware of? I don't, have a, I don't have a horse in that race. Interesting, because one of them is going to come to the United States Senate, and, and then the Senate is going to do many things that affect people in this whole country. You're saying it doesn't affect you one way or the other? I don't believe those are the words that I said. I believe I don't live in Georgia was the first statement, mm -hmm. and the second was I don't have a horse in that race. Yeah, Very what different does that mean? than what you're saying. What does it, that mean to it you? It means I'm not... Really? Okay, I'll break it down for you a little bit further. I don't live in Georgia. I can't vote in that race. I am not in favor. I would prefer a different candidate, but it is not something I have a say or choice, especially since, back to point one, I do not live in Georgia. I do not have a horse in that race. There are other races that I am happy to support, other candidates that are closer to my home state. Um, and I feel that, as, a, as folks like to say, all politics is local. So for me, my focus in candidates in terms of who I would or would not support or did or did not support was here in my home state of Maryland. All right. I understand. Uh, and I, I think probably I disagree with you. I think any of us who are citizens in the United States have a horse in every race, or at least we should, uh, because what happens in Georgia definitely affects what happens in Maryland, in D.C., in California, in, in the world, really, uh, because so many people look to the politics of the United States. Uh, but I, I, yes. I understand and your position. And again, there's more than I, just... And I thank you for joining us. Uh, I thank you at, for being so candid with us about, about where you stand and look forward to talking to you again. Have a wonderful evening. All right, folks, back to our my unfiltered video in just one moment. Don't wait to November 8th. We can vote today. Your early vote started this week. We're on Savannah State University's campus. We will be dorm storming today, giving our treats for everyone. We hope to see everyone at the polls when it comes to November. If you believe we got power, let them know. Make some noise. Put a fist up. I need to see a fist in the air because we got power. Come on, you put it up. Come get your shirt. We're out here in the streets of Savannah, Georgia. James, do not forget to go vote. I got you. If we vote, the right people in. We can make a change. We can get these resources in our community. I am a woman, and it is important that we have the say-so of what we want to do with our bodies. We are concentrating on entrepreneurism, providing young people with resources and training that they need in order to change their trajectories. We won't black down. Democracy is on the ballot. Voting rights is on the ballot. Voting suppression is on the ballot. I am most passionate about those three combined because they all impact each other. Savannah is my home. I care about my community, and I care about representation in my community. Our voices are still going to be heard no matter what kind of obstacles try to come up against us to stop us from voting. We're still going to be standing our ground. the effort that's being made to keep our communities from voting. So that makes me realize it's even more important because if it wasn't important, they wouldn't be fighting to make sure we could vote. This doesn't stop this year. This is a forever movement. We're going to exert our power as a people. Walk in our rightful place. We're going to change our communities, fight for our communities, and build our communities. Folks, Black Star Network is this. Hold no punches. I'm real uh, revolutionary right now. Black Power. Support this man, Black Media. He makes sure that our stories are told. I thank you for being the voice of Black America, Roller. Hey, Black. All momentum we have now, we have to keep this going. The video looks phenomenal. See, this difference between Black Star Network and Black-owned media and something like CNN. You can't be Black-owned media and be scared. It's time to be smart. 
bring your eyeballs home. You dig?